Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Dota of Increase. My name is Nancy Nice for those of you who are new to the family. And I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday about God, Jesus, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be me showing you guys the devotionals that I'll be reading through for the year of 2018. And I am quite excited to share these with you guys. I have quite a few. I have a bin. This little basket that I keep near my bed. And I got this basket from Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree, you guys. Dollar Tree is phenomenal. But, um, yeah, I got this basket from Dollar Tree. This came in pink, blue, green, and, um, this color, purple. But I keep this one by my bed, and it's full of all of the devotionals that I'll be reading through the year. And I have my devotionals split up, um, by day, and then I have three that I read every day. Um, so the first thing is first, I have this notebook, which you guys saw in my How I Do My Devotional Time video. This is just a regular composition of the college root paper because I hate wide root um, that I picked up from Walmart. And it says be bright in rose gold foil. And it's like this peachy salmon color, which I think is cute. And um, yeah, this you, you guys have seen how I do my studies. Um, so I do have a schedule right here of how I do my devotionals from Sunday, Monday through Sunday. And um, I'm going to start off with the three that I read every day. So on a daily basis, I read the Our Daily Bread Quarterly Devotional. This one is the winter one. Um, and I love the picture. It's so cute, isn't it? And it has the scripture. It says, it was you who set all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. It's Psalm 74, verse 17. The next one I read is the Psalms 90 Devotions from Our Daily Bread. I read this as I read and go through the book of Psalms. So I'm saying this is like an everyday thing, but it's not because there's not always a devotion for that set Psalms. So, um, yeah. I have that. And then the last daily one is the In Touch Ministries one from Dr. I mean, Pastor... I don't even know if he's, he's, I think he's Dr. Charles F. Stanley, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, this is a January devotional. Theirs doesn't come in a quarterly kind of thing. It comes every month. So, this is a January 2018 one. Um, okay. So, I have these two here that don't have a set day. I'm just going to pick them up whenever I want. This is Walking by Faith, the 30 inspirational readings based on Charles F. Stanley's Life Principles. I have this, and um, I'm actually going to do this when I do his study. I do have the 30 uh, life principles study from him, so I have that. And then I got this sample from the My Time with God by Joyce Meyer. I actually do have the book, if I'm not mistaken, the ebook version. Um, but this is for the month of October. This is the October ones. Um, I'm probably going to read these in October, or I might not. I don't know, but I do have it just to see if I like it. And then we have the rest. So, on Mondays, I will be reading the God is Faithful devotional. This is from Thomas Nelson. Um, on the back, it says, God is Faithful has been designed to help you live each moment in God's presence. Every day is filled with scripture-led moments that bring to light God's promises of his faithful love and care. Through the coming year, may you be drawn closer to our Savior who loves you unconditionally. This is a 52-week devotional study. But... The way I'm doing it now is very different, um, and I absolutely love this. You guys can see I have highlighted this sucker. I have taken notes in here. I don't know if I can find that one where I actually wrote down notes. Like, I just can't find it all of a sudden. Like, here, I've written notes. I really like it. You guys seen me study, um, do this one in the How I Do My Devotional Time video. So, yeah. On Tuesdays, I do the infamous Jesus Calling from Sarah Young. It says, the number one best-selling 365-day devotional, Jesus Calling, is written as if Jesus himself is speaking directly to you. Words of encouragement, comfort, and reassurance of his unending love. These writings are based on Jesus' own words of hope, guidance, and peace within scripture, penned by one who loves him and reveres him. I mean, reveres his word. Those these much-loved devotions will help you look forward to your time with the Lord, experience a deeper relationship with Jesus as you savor the presence of the one who understands you perfectly and loves you forevermore. So I do have this in the teal edition, which I ended up giving to my mother, and my fiancé got me the pink edition because I know proceeds go to breast cancer. 
Um, but yeah, this is amazing. It's all about being in the presence of Jesus Christ. And you guys, I've only gotten to day three. Mind blown. Like, mind blown. I have underlined, highlighted, just, it's freaking amazing, you guys. I really, really love this. And I'm definitely going to be getting her other one. So, I read this every Tuesday. On Wednesdays, I do the Tyndale 365 Pocket Promises from the Bible. This is literally just promises that are within the Bible that they focus on. Um, so, day one was on salvation. Day two was on the significance. I'll actually be reading this today because it is Wednesday, so I'm on day three, which is about the kindness. Um, and it just goes to the promises that Jesus and God gives us within the Bible. And what I like is that at the end of each devotional, they give you a question to ponder and some space to write. But I answer these questions in my um, prayer journal. So I really, really like this one and definitely recommend it. And links to all of these will be down below. On Thursdays, I read Strength for Every Moment from T.D. Jakes. This is a 50-day devotional. Um, and the way it's set up is that it gives you a scripture, a devotion, and some questions to answer. Um, the questions are very, very deep, you guys. Like, they make you think. But um, here it is. The devotion. Then you get questions, which I don't answer in here because them lines are not long enough. I actually answer them in my devotional book where I do in my notes. And it, it tells you meditate on the word and gives you a question. So, you know, I really like this. Um, on the back, it says, turn your breakdowns into breakthroughs. Face, face each day with courage and strength as T.D. Jakes empowers you with the wisdom of his years of walking closely with the Lord. Your challenges will turn into triumphs and your breakdowns into breakthroughs. Through inspirational scripture and personal insight, strength for every moment, emboldens your spirit and invigorates your faith. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. That's Psalms 31, verse 25 in the NIV translation. Um, phenomenal. Phenomenal one. Phenomenal one, and I've, lo I've been loving it. Okay, so. Fridays, I do this beauty here. It's the one-year book of inspirations for girlfriends. This is by Ellen Miller. Yeah, Ellen Miller. Um, and it is from Tindo. I got this one for free. And I'll do, I have a video coming up on how I get my free books. So I do get asked a lot. But this one is phenomenal. I love it. And it's literally just for any woman out there whose life isn't perfect, which is everyone. Um, and I just, I love it, you guys. And I think every week has like a specific topic that she goes through. Yeah, so like every week is a set topic. So for week one, which I'm currently in, it's about finding your joy. So day one is like, you know, you present it with your main topic. And then you have subtopics to those topics. So on day two, it was like, let's start with you. And you have resigning your treasure. Give something away every day. Glory in what you have. Letting go of yesterday. Being present. And then on that last day, there's like... Um, some actions and a prayer and things that you can do to ensure that you're doing those things. So, I like this, and I think the book is super cute, and it's pink, like, duh. <laughs> um, Saturdays, I do faith devotions. It's the Faith 90 devotions from Our Daily Bread, because you guys know my word of the year is faith. So, I do this every Saturday. I was doing it on Sundays, but Sundays are pretty hectic because we go to church Sundays. So, I decided to start reading these on Saturday. Because these are more in-depth. Um, and I like these. They're just really good. It says, faith is not just believing in God. Faith is also having confidence in his word. God saves us by grace through faith and brings us into a personal relationship with Christ. But he also calls us to live a Christ-like life through faith in his word. This collection of inspiring meditations shares engaging stories and encouraging scriptures surrounding issues of faith. Written by our Daily Bread contributors, these words of wisdom tr and truth remind us that God will help us walk with him and become rooted and established in the faith. Discover how you can renew your trust in God, strengthen your spirit through the word, and live a life of obedience and service to the Lord. Love it. It's amazing. And then the final one here is Walking with the Savior, which I read every Sunday because it's really, really short and there's not much that I can like write note-wise. It's from Max Lucado, and it's Walking with the Savior. I picked this one up from Walmart. 
it was not expensive it was only five that five bucks from walmart and it has gold foil hopefully you guys can see on the front and the back and it is super cute and you basically just it's a, a yearly devotional a daily devotional sorry and it's basically set up where you get a scripture and a Zebo, and that's pretty much it um and they're so short that you know i figured reading these on sundays in the morning would be better than not reading anything at all so that's that so those are all of the devotions that i'll be reading for the year um now of course if i finish them ahead of time i'll switch them out for other ones because i still have a bunch of other devos that i can read but um those are the main ones that i'll be reading for this year and i will have links to all of them down below you can buy them on amazon so check down below in the bottom bar and that is pretty much it for this video so I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for subscribing, commenting, liking these videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.